I just got, I'm finishing off the EBR right now so I can get the SO14. Plan. Shit though. This is the EBR-14 in Modern Warfare 2. It is a part of the Marksman Rifle category. It is one of the three semi-automatic Marksman Rifles in the game. Similar to the TAC-M video I made a little bit ago, this is going to be the best class setup for the EBR-14. All we're really doing is speeding it up because this thing is just going to be a one-tap headshot machine. I'll show you the attachments I used in a sec. Before I do, though, it mean a lot to me if you consider leaving a like and subscribing down below. Without wasting more time, let's look at the EBR-14. Starting with my secondary, I have on the ignition variant of the Basilisk pistol because I need to level this thing up. The attachments that come on this variant are the Basilisk grip laser, the Bryson snubby barrel, and the Bryson HTA trigger action. In today's video, I'm going to be honest, I had on the decoy grenade, but I did not mean to have on the decoy grenade. Generally, this would be a stun. Lethal is a Simtex, perk package 1 is double time battle art and fast hands quick fix, and then the pro field upgrades are dead silence and munitions box. And now on to the EBR-14 itself. Complete trans transparency when i made my initial video using the ebr14 to level it up to get the fss olv laser which is the attachment i have on in this slot i said on record it was one of the worst guns i had ever used it was the least fun i had had playing this game thus far i am like pretty sure leveling this gun up more and getting attachments that don't suck for it that the reason i was having so little fun was the variant i was using of it whenever i got this gun to like level 14 or 15 out of the total of 16 levels it has the gun became way more tolerable and way more fun to use just don't use the variant of this thing if you're leveling it up just go in raw dog like i said though for the laser slot we are using the fss lv laser aim down sight and sprint to fire is what we're getting here coming down to the other attachment that has no tuning we have on the 15 round magazine generally mo bullets mo beta but we had to take a middle ground in this case because i don't know if the most bullets are the most beta i tried out the 20 round mag it seemed just a little bit too slow it made the gun feel a little bit too clunky for what i wanted personally but you could probably run the 20 round mag and have zero side effects for the rear grip we have the FSS Gen 7 grip. This FSS pistol grip features a smoother texture, enhanced aiming speed, and reduces the time it takes to aim after sprinting, and that's exactly what it is. Sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. And then we're doubling down on that in the tuning. We have it maxed out for ADS and sprint to fire. Going up to the optic, because I feel like this weapon needs an optic, I have on the SZ SRO7 optic. This is basically just an enhanced red dot sight. You do lose a little bit of aim down sight speed with this optic, but we can get that right back in the tuning with aim down sight speed and then the far eye position. And then finally for the barrel, we have the 16 inch chrome lined RFX40 barrel, a short chrome lined barrel designed for speed, aim down sight faster and control shots from the hip. And that's that's exactly what it does. This is the aim down sight speed barrel and hip recoil control barrel. We're losing damage range and bullet velocity, but this is one of those guns where that doesn't really matter. You're still going to two tap people at pretty much any distance, and you're still going to one tap to the head at pretty much any distance. That is ultimately why I chose the chrome lined barrel over the Lone Star barrel, which does the same benefits, but just more to the effect of what I was going for in terms of speed. And then in the tuning, I have it maxed out for aim down sight speed and recoil steadiness. And now we're at the part of the build where I give some suggestions if you would like to make one. If you don't like the optic, you can take off the optic slot and go into the stock and run the SO R55 adapter stock. This is the speed stock. It doesn't really give you a lot, but it's an option if you feel like the gun is still a little bit too slow. And then just a personal complaint, the comb option on this is probably one of the most useless attachment slots on any weapon. Because not only can I not use it because I don't have the stock on, but if I change the stock, it's going to make me change the grip to... This is just one of those attachments where you have to lose a lot to gain basically nothing. So the comb attachment can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. But these are the five attachments overall that I found were the best for the EBR-14. As always, if you guys try out this class setup, come back to the video and let me know if it's good, bad, if you had fun with it. If you guys enjoy the class setup, enjoy the video, or just want to show support to the channel, the easiest way to do that is to leave a like and subscribe because I post daily here. Hope you guys have a great day after the video ends. I'll talk to you in tomorrow's video. As always, boys and girls, a pizza. Can't even see that guy. 
please tell me the CDL skin using the M4 is gonna be a complete weirdo and just sit up in that building the entire game. Sure, man. Good play, man. Sick M4, by the way. Maybe you can sign my Battle Beaver after the game. Sure, that's a thing that just happened. Why is there an SAE here? Who streaks that exact part of the map? Like, I'm the only kill he got. I was targeted. That's a fine in the NFL, dude. I have no idea who is shooting me, but you need to stop it. There's no way Purple Boy is running from me. You're f weird, dog. Nice try, bro. Genuinely. I hate this map. I hate the way this this game works with spawns. I really need to put stuns back on. I don't know why decoys are on this class. I think I was using this class to level something up and just never bothered to swap it back. I missed that guy, by the way. Bro, like, look at him. Like, what are you doing, bro? Nah, you suck. Why? Okay, I guess I'm climbing. Out of all the options that could have happened, I guess that is the one that's happening. My found him. Enemy personnel at the half point. Locating the next target. I mean, whatever. <laughs>